Howdy folks and welcome to episode 8 of Sky Factory 2.5. As you can already tell, a lot has changed. <laughs> uh, we'll get off with the very, we'll work from the bottom up. First of all, I changed up the floor a bit, made it significantly bigger. This is where the old uh, power center was. It used lava generators and... Uh, all the crucibles and all that that's where it used to sit that's how big it was okay that's it now <laughs> it has undergone an upgrade um, this is just the power center right here what is that three six nine and nine that's 18 crucibles set up Accepting cobble from the cobble generator upstairs. Yeah, that needs to get fixed up. We'll get to that. Don't worry. I have the uh, reservoir in the back that I'm actually using for lighting. Uh, as well as holding all the lava. That's why it's stretched out like that. Is I can use it as lighting instead of torches. And it looks pretty neat. I like it. Uh, on each side, I have eight lava generators uh, there's eight more over here all hooked up I have the main power line running across the back uh, connecting everything up got a random power line running over there and I'll show you that in just a minute <clears throat> right here I have two line breaks okay this line break right here if I connect this one it will send cobble into this thing and then send it over here for the cobble to get broken down into gravel. Uh, the compressed cobble to get broken down into gravel. Take that, throw it in here, throw it in here. Uh, if I want to get sand, I just take it out of here <clears throat> and manually put it back over here. That way I can keep a close eye on it, steady control, you know. On the other hand, if I connect this brake, see that's the one where I can actually control what I get with this one. If I connect this one, it starts shooting a bunch of cobble in here, compresses it, and you see how it's a two-way like this? It'll send it over here, uh, get broken down into gravel, sent back, compressed again, sent over here, get broken down into sand, get sent back, and it'll keep doing it until it's down to dust. Then it'll make the compressed dust, and that would just sit there normally, but I have an output. Okay, part of the output goes straight into the sieve. The overflow goes into this chest, which also goes into the sieve. So I got a buffer chest at each point. Okay, it's going to pick up all the extras so we don't have any buildup anywhere. <clears throat> now what I've done is right here... I put a filter in that'll pull out the gravel. I can change that out to whatever I want. If I want to take the gravel out and do compressed sand, then it'll cycle until I have compressed sand, then it'll pull that out, or compressed dust. Whichever, okay? Now, as far as this two-way thing, I learned this the hard way. This does not work just by hitting it with the wrench until it gets back around to the two-way it's not going to work it's not going to send it back and forth what you have to do is you have to go into here you see where it says insert here at mode is in and out insert and eh, whatever okay click insert on the extract tab you have to turn off the redstone mode if you don't turn that off it's not going to do anything okay and then you have to do it on this one too you have to go in here and turn off the redstone mode Otherwise, this will craft all the compressed, and it'll just sit there. It won't go anywhere. If you turn this one off, uh, it'll send it through, come in here, and then this will break down the gravel, and then it'll sit there. It won't go anywhere. So you have to turn this one off, too, to make it go back and forth. All right. That power line's already in my way. We'll get to that, though. <clears throat> now, what this is doing, the sieve... Uh, if it's breaking down gravel, sends it over, and you get the broken iron ore, emeralds, flint, coal, lapis, and diamonds. I've gotten quite a bit of diamonds this way. Alright, it auto-assembles them and sends them over here. Alright, now, 
If it's not one of the broken ores being assembled into a gravel, it sends it into this chest. Yeah, it turns your lapis and your coal and your flints into blocks. I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me too much. I don't even use a flint anyway. I'm sure I'll find a use for it later, but for right now, it's pointless. I don't have a need for it. Whatever. Um, and you see, this one is a two-way as well. All right. And again, you have to go in here and turn off the redstone. Okay. Now, what that means is whenever this guy builds up the uh, broken ore into the gravel ore, it'll send it over, and if the hammer uh, is already working on something, it'll just send it in this chest until the hammer's ready to take it in. Okay? Hammer breaks it down uh, to sand bits right here, the crushed ores. All right? This guy assembles them, and it does the same thing. It sends them over here as the, well, these are the dust blocks, okay? Those need to go, actually, into that last section. But it'll send the uh, sand ores over here, and then the sand ores get pulled out and shoved into here where they're broken down into the dust, which is this right here, the powdered ores. This guy assembles the powdered ores, into these blocks right here which then gets sent straight over into these two different types of furnaces here's the redstone furnace which it'll accept one thing at a time and that's fine it's mainly an overflow it only operates when this guy is full which this one was that's why something went in there and then it sends it all in here all right and I've got this set up so anything the redstone furnace makes, it just pops through, goes down, and ends up down here. And, oh man, I, I wasn't able to keep up with it. Uh, I can't remember what I used this guy for. I used it for something. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I was making more uh, ender energy conduits because I needed more of them. I didn't have enough. The reason I needed more was so I could run this stupid line right here. It's going to this crafter. This crafter is going up to this chest right here. Now you see these lines right here. This line is my cobble line, okay? That's why that needs to change. <laughs> That's ridiculous. My cobble generator is right there and it sends all the way over to there. And it's absurd. I need to fix that. This line right here. That's just going from one side of the storage to the other, which also changed. Let me switch to sword. <clears throat> I tried to do something, and it blew up in my face horribly. Uh, so now I get mobs landing down here sometimes. But, you know, the zigzag and everything, see, that's where it goes down. Comes up on the other side. Yeah, you know that. Okay. Let me pick up this loot bag over here. Just the loot bag. I don't want the other crap. I've got enough of the other crap. Let me see if there are any more loot bags in here. See, so that's one of the other changes. Is I switched. I actually went through and made some of these diamond chests uh, because I needed more storage over here. All right, the uh, better barrels just weren't cutting it. They weren't holding enough of items. Diamond chests—they're doing the job splendidly. I love it. Uh, there was something else I was looking for while I was up here. Okay, no, there's no more up here. Good. That's fine. Alright, I grabbed my loot bags. And you see that diamond chest sitting right down there? Check this out. What? <laughs> it's because I've been doing this. I throw them all in here. And where'd they go? They get sucked out. Spit back in, sucked out. That's what it's doing. It's pulling from this chest, going to this crafter. That The reason why it's sitting right here in the middle, that's all the conduit I had. I had to stretch it. Um, but this guy right here crafts the loot bags down to uh, up to legendaries. Okay, we already know it's in the bacon bags. Uh, I can't remember what's in the wild bags. But you know what? We're going to take a look at all of them. Let's see what's in all of these, except for the bacon bag. Because, well, I just, I really don't care about the bacon bag. It's not that 
important. <laughs> all right, so we'll start. We'll throw all that stuff up there. And we'll do the wild bags first. Let's see. What do we have? Spawn a chicken. Okay. What's in this one? More fried chicken. What's in this one? More fried chicken. Okay. Whatever. Wild bags, not impressive. Now, let's check out these legendaries. Please be something good. First one. Whoa. Crimson Colt Hood. Uh, okay. Uh, iron Orberry Bush. That might be interesting. What is this? Crimson Colt Robe. Okay. Thomcraft things. Oh, give me that back. It doesn't like me to actually pick the items up. Uh oh. I got a dupe. Uh, I might need to do a quick restart. Lumium ingots, mana steel ingots, and necrotic bones. Okay. We'll accept it. Uh, Crimson Cult Manor, necrotic bone, wither skulls. Three of them. Awesome. Uh, iron Orberry, more Crimson Cult boots. And necrotic bone, endarium ingot. Diamond chest plate. I already made that. And that's what I'm wearing right now. <clears throat> Another diamond chest plate. Okay, it's starting to get old. Sunday roast. Okay, now with these better foods like that, if I were to take that and feed it to this little guy in here in the sea, uh, he goes just do do just slowly sieving out the gravel or the sand or the dust, whatever you've got him working on. If you feed him bread, he speeds up uh, 3.25 times. If you give him one of those better meals, it jumps up like 8 times speed or something like that. It's nuts. He started just really going at it. It's pretty cool looking. Alright, so... Legendary bags, not so legendary. Uh, <laughs> I am fairly unimpressed. Actually, let me grab the ingots out of there. We're going to put the ingots in an ingot chest. Now, for all of the uh, auto sieving and smelting I've done, where is all my materials? It's over there. And, you know, looking at it from here, it's not that big. But when you get closer, let's take a look at this. I have 728 ingots worth of iron. Uh, shiny ingots, 76. Aluminum, 689. Tin, 462. I had to throw these things somewhere. <laughs> they were taking up too much space. My chests were filling up, so... Here it is. <laughs> Load it up. Alright. Oh, the heck. Okay, it was a delay on my fall. That's what that was. Alright, I don't understand that. Let's try this again. There we go. Now it worked. Alright. I had a specific task that I wanted to work on today. And I wonder if you can guess what it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably jumping in over my head on this one. I've never attempted anything like this before. But I want an ME system. I have chests all over the damn place. It's driving me nuts. My mob spawner is going into an old school sort uh, storage system that's not even sorting it. It's just collecting it. Hey, uh, look at this. Uh, this is how I'm sorting it. Uh, that's not a good example. There we go. Yeah, you see that? That's how I'm sorting this stuff. That's ridiculous. I, I, no, we got to do better than that. We, we have to do better than that. So, I want an ME system. Now, in order to do this, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to need, uh, no, I need, energy acceptor okay we're going to start with this guy right here so let me see here what all was it that it needed it needed what uh four iron 
four quartz and a fluix crystal. All right. So uh, we will one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and one of these. All right. Yeah, I went around all of my chests uh, and collected the materials that I would need to actually do this. That's something else. For some reason, I have switched these two around every which way. I've put this crafting table on every side of the chest. I put this chest on every side of the crafting table. I cannot get these two to connect. It's a little frustrating. I don't know if it's glitching or if iron doesn't connect to the crafting table. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's frustrating. Well, okay, why is it not doing that? What am I missing? Iron, quartz glass, and a fluix crystal. Okay. Is oh, that's fused quartz. Is that going to work? I don't know if that's going to work. No, it's not. I need to find... Quartz glass. How do I make quartz glass? I've got fused quartz. Oh, okay. So I need some certus quartz and some regular glass. That's not a problem. We'll get uh, some regular glass and some certus quartz. Come in here. And what is it? It's this guy right here. Shift click. And we will make eight of them and let's make 12 all right clear that out now let's try this there we go energy acceptor all right so now <laughs> I'm going to uh, I don't even know where I want to set this thing up to be honest um, see I started making these walkways and everything you know what I think I want it to be actually close to the power system over here. Um, where exactly though? Alright, where's my middle? Here's my middle right here. So, because all this is going to get a redesign. I mean, that's, that's just all there is to it. Uh, you know what? We're going to do this bam all right it has power going in on both sides awesome no interface that's fine uh okay so now i've got the inner i've got the uh power acceptor now i need to make a drive something to store all the crap in okay I need iron ingots I've got those me glass cables I need two of them and I can make them using two flux I can make four of them using two fluix crystals what is this method down here it's a water bucket uh, I guess if you already have it me glass cable. what's the difference between these two why? I don't get that. Alright, quartz fiber is what I don't have. I need... I'll use some certus quartz and some glass. So, I've already got those in my inventory. Let me go ahead and make them. Uh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, we will do... Oh, crap. I'm click happy. Uh, click this again. Click this again. That is what I'm trying to make. Alright. And I'm going to make minimal of items. I don't want to make extra because I don't know if I have enough materials to make everything. <laughs> so. Okay. Engineering processor. I need diamond, two redstone, silicone, and that. That's going to require two quartz crystals, two sticks, and an iron ingot. Alright. So we got the sticks, quartz crystals, so let me grab that silicone, and I got the diamonds, and I got the iron. Oh, and redstone. Okay. Let's come back over here again, and 
we need to make this guy right here. Uh, I think that's a tool and can be reused. I hope that's the case. Um, now, I need to make that. I don't need that or that in there. Okay. I need two of those. And I wasn't paying attention just then. I think it was a diamond in the middle, a redstone on either side, and a silicone on the bottom? Yes. Okay, good. Excellent. Alright. Um, what else did I need? Okay, yeah, I needed two of those, and I need to cook them. So let me uh, take them over here and cook them real fast. <clears throat> I say real fast. I hope it goes fast. Let's see here. We'll, uh, we'll do this. We'll throw one in there. And we'll throw one in there. Oh, yeah, that is real fast. Okay, good job. Wow. <laughs> do that more often, please. Alright, uh, now we're going to come back over here to the drive. We should have everything. We don't. What am... Oh, I didn't, I didn't finish making that part. <laughs> I didn't finish that. I need to get some Flux Crystals. Oh, that's expensive. I, I need to get more of those. And I think you can actually craft them. Okay, this guy right here. Uh, we will... Ugh, that hurt. And now... There we go. Emmy drive. Alright, we now have a drive. And I wonder, does this thing need to have its own power going to it? Or does it just attach to the top here? Is this thing powered? Has that priority? I'm not worried about priority right now. Okay, we need to make... Okay. Uh, now, I need to make an interface. And right off the bat, I do not want... Um, where is it? I don't want a, just a terminal. I want a crafting terminal. Okay? What's the point? If you're not going to have a crafting terminal. Calculation processor. Requires printed calculation circuit. I have the knife. I need all these things. Which I already have in my inventory. So. Let me come over here. Uh. uh make it. Why? What is wrong with that? Um. What is missing? We got the redstone, Certus Quartz cutting knife, Certus Quartz crystal, and silicone. Right? There's the cutting knife, the crystal, the redstone, and the silicone. Why is this not... Is it because this has got durability taken off of it? I think that might be what it is. How much you want to bet? Let's see. Yep, that's what it was. It's because of the durability. Alright, how many of those did I need? I just need the one. Uh, is that the only one I need? Do I need one there? No. Uh, let's see here. I don't think that needs one either. No, sure doesn't. Now, okay, we are good. Alright, I need iron, two glowstone. Glowstone, I forgot to grab glowstone. Redstone and some quartz glass. All right. Uh, we'll take that out of there for right now. I want to throw. Actually, before I throw that in the oven, I'm going to make the other uh, circuits that I need, because this formation core and annihilation core, they both need logic processors. Gold bar, which I also did not grab. See, no gold bars. Man, I am not. I am not on it today. I missed stuff. Such a failure. There's no gold in there. Okay, there's some gold bars. Uh, that's not glowstone. That's not. That's glowstone. All the way over there. Okay. Oh man, I am just. Uh, I am not doing good apparently. Okay, there's the quartz glass. So that should be everything I need to make. Oh, I need, okay, I need to make three logic processors. Let me go ahead and make this guy. I just need one. Well, it gives me three, but I just need one. 
All right, so we got the monitor. Um, I need logic processor, logic process. I need three logic processors. Okay. And yeah. All right. All right. So logic processors. How do I make those? Um, the cutting knife, gold, redstone, and silicone. And I need three of them. Let's take that out. The knife. Gold ingot, redstone, silicone. One, two, three. Right? That should be it. Uh, what else do we need for the? Let's see. Oh, I need to make a crafting table too. Okay, flux dust and certus quartz. Uh, and what's the other? One? Is there a way to like go back? I. <sighs> Is it, uh, okay, there we go. And then this one uses nether quartz, which I have some, okay. And logic processor, all right, we are good. Uh, okay, so crafting table is the last thing that I need to make while these are cooking. Do I have any wood on me? I don't see any wood in there. Uh, what about in here? I don't see any. Yeah, I probably had a crafting table in one of those and just completely missed it. There's definitely no wood in there. Let me go upstairs and grab some planks. Eh, eh, there's some wood. Uh, I don't even need that much. Just one crafting table, please. Thank you. Come back downstairs. Let's cook these up. We're going to throw that guy in there. Instant cook. And wham. <laughs> I love that. Okay, make our crafting table. Alright. I know there's a lot going on here all at once. Uh, I have an inventory full of crap. Doesn't look like it makes any sense at all. It will. It will. Okay. I need to grab the nether quartz. I don't need that one. Uh, I need to grab some flux dust, and uh, I still have the quartz crystals. All right, let's start making some of this stuff. We need to make a formation core. And we get two. That's fine. Okay. Now we need to make an annihilation core. Okay. Oops, I didn't shift click that one. All right, easy, easy. There we go. I get two annihilation cores. That's fine. All right. Uh, logic processor. Uh, it's a different kinds of terminal. It looks like we have everything. So. Oh wait, no. I need to do that step right there. Bam. Bam. Got it. Okay. Now I can do this and boom, I got it. <laughs> All right, now can I just slap this thing right on the front here? Because that would be awesome. Why is it? Oh, it's freaking backwards, seriously? Okay, I know what I can do. Uh, oh, I should have it on me. Glass cable. Glass cable should do it. If I stick glass cable on the front there, and then I stick this on there. Ah, there we go. <laughs> We're in it. Oh, we are in it. <sighs> ME system. Okay, now I need to make a drive for it. <laughs> oh, it just keeps going. There's more. Oh, there is always more. That's okay. That's okay. Let's get back up here. We need the 1k because you have to have okay like i want to make the 64k eventually but in order to make the 64k you have to make the 64k me storage component i it's just gradually building up and i don't have the materials for that right now i do have the materials for a 1k i wonder if i have enough for a 4k now no no because i gotta make three of these things yeah I don't think I have enough for that 
you know what? I'm going to take a look at that and I'll be right back. I want to see how much materials I have and what the largest storage cell is that I can make. And I'll bring you guys back as soon as I know. And we're back. It is now the next day. I am sorry that it is so framey. I managed to get enough materials together to make four of the 64 KME storage cells. And I went around my... Uh, platforms here collecting up all the stuff that I have in chess and just throwing it in there um, but with this framiness I'm gonna have to do a rebuild of some sort because this is just ridiculous how bad this is I'm gonna have to figure out some other way to do this because uh, this is frustrating <laughs> impossible to work with uh, as far as the resources, I had everything except for redstone. I had to get redstone, and that's what's going on right now. It's part of what's causing the framiness. Uh, I've got this auto sieve uh, sifting more dust right now. And, yeah. It, I've got plenty of redstone now. <laughs> but uh, I, I was severely lacking in the redstone department. Now, I'm lacking in the Certus Quartz Crystals. So, I've already got it ready uh, to start doing the sand. Uh, actually, it should be working on the sand right now. Uh, let, me, let me see here. Yeah, it's doing sand right now, and there's some more Certus Quartz Crystals. Uh, that's what I was lacking uh, to make the fifth uh, storage cell. But I want to keep working on that. Um, and off camera, I'm going to figure out some way to clean this up so that it's not so framey. Uh, reduce the lag that I've got. But that's going to do it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, share if you see fit. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.